Howdy everyone, it's your buddy BP. It is March 25th, 2016, Friday morning, which means that it is Zord Day. And he is somewhere here in the tower, as you can tell by the little symbol here. Let's see if we uh, can't go and find him. Having a hard time getting a uh, sense of where he's at, though. Uh, let's go ahead and start over here in the hangar. Oh, yep, lucky guess, he's in the hangar. So, yeah, let's go ahead and dive right on and see what he has for sale this weekend. Items belong to the Nine, not me. Titans this week will get the Empyrean Bellicose. It has a Discipline and Strength build. His other perks are Second Thoughts, Inverse Shadow, and Better Already. Its exotic perk is Anti-Grav Thrusters. Aiming weapons while in the air will hold you in place for a short time and orbs collected while your super is full will recharge your melee ability. That second ability about collecting orbs while your super meter is full, mostly useless. I guess it's, I guess you could say it's kind of sort of useful for, say, um, Sunbreakers, if you're uh, into using Melting Point in uh, PvE. But in my opinion, this is not a PvE helmet. This is a PvP helmet. That ability to hover in place it's actually pretty damn useful, and it's not just for, like, primary weapons. You can get, like, mid-air headshots with a sniper rifle. You can pick people off with scout rifles. It's really good. It's really fun to use, and you can use it across all subclasses. Uh, unfortunately, because of that second ability, you are always going to be collecting orbs. Even if both your super and melee ability is full, you will always collect orbs whenever you go near them when wearing this. Uh, so be be wary of that. You know, don't uh, be mindful of where you're uh, stepping if you're trying to be uh, economical about orbs. But yet, yeah, for a PvP, this is a really fun helmet, and I would recommend it. Hunters this week will get the Crest of Alpha Lapai. It has a strength and intellect build, focusing mostly on intellect. Its other perks are auto rifle ammo, sidearm ammo, and it is spec'd out for Void. Its exotic perk is Keeper of the Pack. You can revive fallen teammates faster and they can revive you faster. Also, when you uh, use your super, you uh, will generate one additional orb. If you plan on doing Trials of Osiris, you absolutely must have this. Uh, these armors, there's one for each subclass. I, uh, the Titans also have a Crest of Alpha Lapai. Warlocks have, what is it, Light Beyond Nemesis? Same ability, Keeper of the Pack. If you plan on doing Trials, you need this. And as we've heard from uh, the update, we will be getting Prison of Elders back. So yeah, this might actually become useful in, uh, in that game mode too. So yeah, I would definitely consider picking this one up if you don't have it. And plus uh, Exclusive Intellect, that's, uh, that's not bad. That's a pretty good build. Warlocks this week will get Alchemist's Raiment. It has an Intellect and Strength build. It has special ammo and heavy ammo booster, so you don't have to uh, differentiate between which one you use. It is also spec'd out for the Void subclass. Its exotic perk is Iron to Gold, chance to gain glimmer on primary ammo pickup. Orbs collected while your super meter is full, recharge your grenades and melee. There's only one type of uh, situation where I use this, and that's when I'm farming Glimmer to get those packages for Arms Day, because those things are, uh, they're not cheap, and uh, yeah, I should probably get on top of doing that. I've been playing a lot of Smite lately. I've, I've just been getting really hooked on that game. But yeah, I need to go ahead and get that Glimmer so I can keep doing my Arms Day uh, videos, and this is what I use it for, because that ability will help me get a little bit of extra Glimmer while uh, farming. But yeah, outside of that, I really wouldn't recommend it. I guess maybe you could use it for something like in PvE for uh, Storm Trance, because it has, I think it's Transcendence, where uh, Storm Trance lasts longer when you activate it with uh, both of your other abilities uh, fully charged. So I guess it works well with that, in that sense. And plus you got Special Ammo and Heavy Ammo Loader, so you don't have to pick between which one, so very nice. Uh, outside of that, though, I wouldn't use it, and I most definitely would not use it uh, for PvP. 
But yeah, I would say it's really just for collectors only. Oh, I, and I will say one thing though, it does look really cool. I wish I had a preview available right here, but yeah, it has this sort of holographic image where it's kind of like either green or purple, depending on what angle you look at it. It's pretty neat. But yeah, that's all I can recommend it. Uh, excuse me, that's all I can recommend about it. It's mostly just for collectors. No engram this week, but we do get a weapon, and it is the Invective. Color me surprised. I can't remember the last time uh, this thing uh, has been sold. But yeah, it is a it is an exotic shotgun that deals solar damage, and it is full auto. Check that out. It has accurized ballistics, field choke, and linear compensator. Its other perks include final round, quick draw, fitted stock, and send it. Its exotic perk is Invective. This weapon will regenerate ammo over time. To be more exact, it regenerates four shots, enough for a full tube, every 30 seconds. But it doesn't regenerate it uh, to the magazine. It generates it uh, to your reserve. So you still have to reload it. But even with that taken into account, it's a really good weapon for both PvE and PvP. It's much more popular in PvP because of uh, how scarce uh, special ammo is now. Um, it's especially scarce, of course, now in 3v3 modes, where now it doesn't uh, spawn at the beginning of the match. So something like this is very popular, very useful. Uh, some people also use, I, what was it again? Icebreaker? Yeah, some folks will also use Icebreaker because it has an ammo regen mechanic. But this one's more popular because you can actually use it in year two. And it's still a great shotgun. Oh, and plus, plus full auto and final round are excellent together because that means you can just hold down the trigger while you're uh, auto uh, reloading and it'll just automatically fire that final shot and it will always deal bonus damage so that's really useful in pve for like staggering tier two enemies so yeah as far as full auto shotguns though for pve i still think uh, fourth horseman is better just because it has a much quicker time to kill but yeah, but for PvP, you absolutely must have this shotgun. Also, it looks badass. It's all black and it's got all these glowy bits like there's some sort of like fire contained inside of it. It's pretty sweet. Yeah, so yeah, very nice shotgun that I would strongly recommend. We have Legacy Engrams this week for primary weapons. So if you don't have a thorn, this is your chance to get it. I remember at least one or two of you mentioning how uh, you wanted a thorn. Well, guess what? Now you uh, have your chance to get it. They're 31 coins a piece, though, so they're, it's a really steep price. But if you're like me, you've been saving up on your coins because, you know, there's just not much to buy. But yep, if you want your thorn, this might be your week to get it. And, of course, we have glass needles so you can re-roll your exotic armors. Three coins, three moats, one shard. We have three coins. You can get five of them for seven coins. And, of course, your heavy ammo sense. A pack of three for one strange coin. And I'd say that just about does it for this video. I know there's more details about the April patch that have come out, and they will be, uh, by they of course, I mean Bungie, will be rolling out more information in the next couple of weeks. But yeah, there's a few interesting details I'd like to talk about, so I'll probably put a video out about it, uh, maybe tomorrow or at least the day after. So, but yep, yeah, what about Zor? Do you think uh, he had a really nice haul this week? Let me know in the comment section. I try to respond to as many people as I can. Also, don't forget to spank that like button if you enjoyed the video or you found it helpful in any way. Your support means a lot to me. And as always, y'all be good to each other, and I will see you in the next video.